Hello, everybody. Welcome back to your HI Media TV news updates. Slava Ukraine from the BBC by Yaroslav Lukhead. Russia struggles to repel Ukraine's deep Kursk incursion. Russia's military said it's com continuing to repel Ukraine, the Ukrainian cross border incursion into the Western Kursk region. A surprise attack now on its fourth day. The Russia Defense Ministry said Ukraine lost more than 280 military personnel in the past four hours. A claim that's not been independently verified. Reports suggest that Ukraine troops are operating more than 10 kilometers inside Russia, the deepest cross-border advance by Kiev since Moscow launched a full-scale invasion. Ukraine has not openly admitted to the incursion, but President Vladimir Zelensky said on Thursday Moscow must feel the consequences for its invasion. Meanwhile, 13 people have been killed and at least 30, 43 injured in a Russian strike on a shopping center in the Ukrainian town of Kosnavitskia. I butchered that fucking name. Close to the front line in the Donetsk, Donetsk region. Uh, Ukrainian and emergency officials say the residential buildings, shops, and more than a dozen cars were also damaged in the attack. The news of the strike came hours after Ukraine's military said it had hit a military airfield deep inside Russia overnight, destroying a warehouse containing hundreds of glide bombs. Targeting of the uh, Lipsic Air Base, more than 350 kilometers or 217 miles from Ukraine's border, is, is the kind of operation he has been wanting to do for some time. These are the very tools that Russia has continuously terrorized Ukrainian town cities and military positions with from most of its invasion. The military statement also said the airfield was known for housing Russia's SU-34, SU-35, and MIG-31 warplanes. The disc regional authority said that a siege emergency was now placed in the area, confirming the detonations at an area at an energy infrastructure facility. Residents of four nearby villages were evacuated. In a statement on Thursday, Russian Defense Ministry says forces were repelling an attempt by the Ukrainian armed forces to invade the territory of the Russian Federation, and Russia was using aviation artillery managing to suppress raid attempts by enemy units, but a video check by BBC Verify shows a different picture. A 15 Russian vehicle Russian convoy damaged, burned, and abandoned on a road through a town of Olbielski, roughly 38 kilometers, 40, 24 miles from the border on the Russian side. The early morning footage also shows Russian soldiers, some injured, possibly dead among vehicles. A federal state of emergency has been declared in the Kursk region, a move that underlines how grave the current situation is. Russia said that up to a thousand Ukrainian troops supported by tanks, armored vehicles, entered the Kursk region Tuesday morning. Despite the deployment of reserve troops in order to evacuate, Russia has been unable to slow uh, the momentum of the Ukrainian advance. This is more than the probing attacks we've seen in the past. Hundreds of soldiers with armored vehicles are thought to have made up to 10 kilometer. Uh, 10 kilometers into Russian territory. That's approximately three miles, give or take. Uh, 30, 30 miles, by the way, like a clock, like a, a kilometer is like 2.7 something feet. Uh, uh, is, 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 is one kilometer is like 2.7 something feet. So, you know, that's a, I say like whatever you see in kilometers, roughly triple it to, to get the feet. That it's not exact. It's no, it's by no means exact, and the higher you go, it will, you know, trip you up. But by and large, like you, like a ballpark, a, a, a ballpark of it is you just trip. Now it is having contained both this attack as well as domestic criticisms for not preventing it in the first place. It is committed a, a it is it committed assault which shocked Russia's military and the Kremlin for the last eighteen months. It's been Moscow dictating the dynamics of this war. Now the shoes on the other foot. So. What do we so what so what do I have to contribute to this? This is great, Slava Ukraine. Um, hopefully this this sh this show of force will uh you know make. Here's the thing: the the war in Ukraine in Russia is not super popular, and this could have one of two effects. One, it could rally people around uh around uh. In, 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 in strength and resolve for them to continue to fight. Or, which is probably more likely because Ukrainians aren't likely to, aren't as likely to commit war crimes to the same degree as the Russians will. Um, I don't know. It, it really is going to depend. Um, there's a good chance that, uh, like, Putin's not going to give up. Like, this would be such an optics loss that it would, you know, lead to the, the, the complete dissolution, it would probably lead to the eventual dissolution of the uh, uh, Russian fascist uh, experiment that is the current Russian Federation of rally, of basically rallying, like, 
like having one, uh, one strong man uh, rise up and like lead the Russian people to you know world domination, basically, which is what like this is not a conspiracy theory, by the way. Like I, some people might say it is, no, like you know, uh, there's Islam as some fucking I forget his name, some uh, Russian um, fascist scholar who is like you know huge in Russia, huge like like it has as mandatory reading in China. Wow. But um, regardless, this is uh, good. This is good news. This is good. Uh, hopefully, uh, Russia will. Um, hopefully, this will be uh, a point of order in which Russia will, you know, not fucking get the fuck out of Ukraine. Um, and I, fingers crossed, we get fucking Harris in office come this November, y'all. Cause man, you know. Uh, I don't know what'll happen, but I think one of two things is probably going to happen with Putin in the future. Either he's going to get assassinated by somebody because he's, you know, doing too fucking much, or he's going to crash out and, like, send nukes somewhere or some shit. I don't fucking know. So we'll see what happens. Especially with the nuclear treaty, uh, like, up for renewal and probably not getting renewed come um, 2026. So we'll see what happens. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/10. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.